Formula One is the pinnacle of motorsport. It's exhilarating to watch drivers cruise at a speed equivalent to that of planes and experience forces five times the gravity of the Earth. F1 cars are truly an engineering marvel. More than ever, engineers are now leveraging dizzying amounts of data and numbers to make faster cars and stay competitive. Hi, I am Nilakanta Bhanu Prakash, the world's fastest human calculator, and I am going to throw light on the critical role of numbers and data analytics in Formula One. An F1 car is technologically the most advanced car on the planet, transmitting data from every nook and corner of the machine. Every car has about 300 sensors and generates 1.1 million data points per second. Over the course of a racing weekend, a single car alone produces about 300 to 400 gigabytes of data. F1 teams perform complex analysis and generate insights that can help build better cars. So what exactly are we doing with this data? Let's try to understand with an example. Here's a table of data collected from the sensors present on the track. Engineers try to find out if there's any relationship between the tire temperature and the speed of the car. Machine learning algorithms take thousands of such data points and apply mathematical and statistical techniques to understand the dynamics between these factors. Let's find out how data is used on the track with some interesting applications. One of the key applications of data is to build models to understand car's performance, predict the overtaking probability and also strategize the pit stops. It doesn't just stop here. F1 did something even more interesting. No, no, not this. The fans of Formula 1 were unanimously seeking more wheel-to-wheel -wheel overtaking in the races. What did F1 do? They took it seriously. To achieve wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing, there is a problem. Whenever the tailing car was 0.5 seconds behind, which is the speed needed for a wheel-to-wheel -wheel action to happen, the car lost 40% of its downforce. Lesser the downforce, the lesser the ability of a car to thrust forward and overtake. Downforce is a thrust that pushes the car onto the ground. F1 cars are aerodynamically designed in such a way that at high speed, the downforce created by the airflow around the body of an F1 car will be far in excess of its weight. Simply put, downforce helps keep cars close to the ground. This helps drivers to maneuver more efficiently at high speeds. Now, going back to our challenging situation, we still didn't know how to decrease the downforce so that we can show viewers more wheel-to-wheel -wheel action. That's where data analytics and computational fluid dynamics, or CFD, came to the rescue. Through CFD, engineers were able to identify that due to something called an aerodynamic wake, the downforce of a car in the rear position dropped drastically. As air passes over the car's surface, it produces a wake of turbulent air which hinders the aerodynamic flow of cars behind it. This creates the aerodynamical wake. The first step towards countering the problem was to increase the computational power. F1 engineers shifted from 20 core to 200 core supercomputers which skyrocketed their computational power to analyze millions of data points. The data provided them insights to change the aerodynamics of the car and remodel it to counter aerodynamical wake. The result? The loss in downforce of the tailing car with 0.5 seconds behind was improved from 30% to just 7%. The new models of Formula 1 cars were designed in such a fashion that the air flowing through the front of the car created little space for the chasing car making the wheel-to-wheel -wheel action possible. What drives an F1 car isn't just the accomplished drivers, but also the data that fuels performance in the car. Formula 1 isn't just a race for the drivers, but it's also a race for the data analysts. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. This was just a glimpse into how Formula 1 uses data to constantly innovate and bring you some fantastic action. Do share your thoughts and oh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.